Hi, uh, welcome back. In my series of lectures in computer science, these days we are talking about sorting, and uh, specifically this lecture is on quicksort. Quicksort is a very efficient sorting algorithm. It was developed in 1960 by uh, a British computer uh, scientist Tony Huare. Uh, in the last lecture, we talked about merge sort, and quicksort is a is very similarly a recursive algorithm, and also it uses the divide and conquer paradigm uh, basically in the divide so let's take an example this is how it works given a list let's say you are given a list two five one and three what it does is that the first step because it is a divide and conquer algorithm is that it takes this list and divide it into two halves to divide the elements into two halves what it does is that it selects one element of this list as pivot for our case we will just use the last element of the list as the pivot value so the pivot value is the last element which is 3 then each of the individual elements are of this list are then compared against the pivot value so you compare 2 against 3 all the elements that are less than the pivot value go to the left bucket all the elements that are greater than the pivot value go to the right bucket so what happens is that 3 is the pivot it is kept aside and pivot by the way does not belong to any of the buckets uh, so 2 and so you check this element 2 against pivot it is less than 3 any element that is less than equal to the pivot value goes to the left so 2 goes to the left 5 is it less than equal to 3 no it goes to the right is one less than equal to three yes it goes to the left bucket so at the at the end of this partition what happens is that you have three things you have the left bucket with all the elements less than equal to the pivot you have a pivot somewhere and you have the right bucket with all the elements strictly greater than pivot then in the, the next thing you do is you do conquer phase in which you take these sub problems and you conquer them by calling by using recursion and calling the quicksort function again on it so you call quicksort on 2 comma 1 and you get 1 comma 2 back you call quicksort on this list 5 and you get 5 back now because of the way you divided so smartly that all the elements less than pivot were on the left side all the elements greater than pivot were on the right side and now they are sorted the answer is so trivial it is simply the left list left sorted list throw in pivot in the bit middle and five in the end and you're done so because of a lot of work went in into dividing the list smartly after after we were done with sorting of these individual sublists the final answer was rather straightforward so the final combined step was was straightforward let's talk a little bit about the history of the algorithm so this algorithm was developed by Tony Huare in 1960s uh, it was uh, he was at that time working studying at Moscow State University and he received an offer of employment from National Physics Laborat Physical Laboratory and his project was to take Russian text and convert it into English text but to be able to do that he he had to sort the words in his sentence. Uh, now this problem to sort the words in a sentence is essentially a sorting algorithm. Now to do this he could think of two problems. He had a pretty long text to sort by the way. Uh, one would take n square. So if n were the number of words in a sentence, one algorithm would take him n square. That was insertion sort or some other equivalent sort. The other method is what we are talking about today and that is quicksort. This is a picture of Tony O'Hare very recently taken. Uh, he by the way he tried to code it in the language called Mercury Autocode but he couldn't because Mercury Autocode did not allow for recursion. So a, a programming language should essentially allow you to be able to do recursion so recursion is essentially a procedure or a function calling itself if you remember from merge sort inside the merge sort function we use the merge sort function you cannot do that in all languages and mercury autocode was one of those languages which did not allow that however later Huawei attended 
a class in another programming language called Algol 60 and that allowed for recursion and so he programmed this and and published a paper and it got pretty popular uh, so let's talk about Python implementation of how we are going to implement today quicksort like all other R sorts it will take a list as an input and so for example if you give it 14091 it will sort it and output 014911 okay so there are three parts in quicksort divide conquer and combine of all three three divide is the trickiest if you draw an analogy from uh, merge sort there divide was rather straightforward combine was tricky here divide is tricky combine is straightforward so this divide uh, we will call this function partition function and let's quickly talk about how this function will basically work so the function works like this you it takes in a list as an input let's say it takes in one three five and uh, let's make this three and let's make this seven so that I can explain better so you choose one of the elements as the pivot so I will choose just the last element it's a random choice as the pivot value I'll keep it aside and that's my pivot then I will initialize empty sublist left and right I will then pick one element at a time I'll pick one I'll compare one with three if it is smaller which it is I will add it to the left list then I will take seven compare it with three is it smaller no it is not so I will add it to the right list I will then take three five is it greater than three yes it is I will add it to the right list does that make sense so that's what partition function does so let's just then quickly write the pseudo code for this function the partition function will essentially look like this def partition it will take in a list as an input the function will assign pivot to the last element last element of list right then you will loop over from first element to second last element the reason why you will go only until to the second last element and not the last is because you don't want to include pivot so you will go from first element to second last element if that element oh you can another thing you can do so this is one you can also initialize your left to be an empty list and right to be an empty list so yeah you could do that as well uh, if element is less than pivot add that to add it add element to left right actually less than or equal to else add it to right makes sense and then in the end you just return all the things you have computed you have computed left list you have found out the pivot so return that and return the right sub list makes sense okay so that's that's essentially the partition function once we have that writing quick sort is very very straightforward so it's a recursive algorithm what do you do in a recursive algorithm you first tackle the base case here is the base case if the list is small enough and we have done this many times now if the list is small enough that is it has either zero or one element return list as is otherwise you tackle the recursive case the recursive case is you call the partition function on the input list and you get back left pivot and right all the elements less than pivot will be in the left all the elements greater than pivot will be in the right you then conquer them by calling quick sort again on it so sorted left will be quick sort of left sorted right will be quick sort of right and now it will be sorted and see how combine is now it will be straightforward because you will have the sorted left list then you'll have the pivot and then you'll have the sorted right list. and this is correct because all the elements less than pivot are sorted and less then pivot all the elements greater than pivot are in the right and sorted so this has to be uh, the right answer so let's do its final implementation in Python quickly uh, let's let's oh, I think font is too big so def partition partition will take in the list right L as an input then what you will do is you will uh, you will compute well you will find out the length of the list 
and that is length then you will choose the pivot pivot is simply the last element of the list so you just do length minus one once you have that then you initialize left and right to be your empty sublist as we talked about then you loop you loop from until second last element so for that you do range of length minus one why range of length minus one well if you have to go until the last element you do range of length right to go until to the second last element you do range of length minus one so in that case your element is simply l of index i and then you compare if element is less than equal to pivot you return you add it to the left element else you add it to the right list so you add element to the left list otherwise you add it to the right list does it uh, make sense and then once this is done you simply return all the things you have computed which are left pivot and right so let's test this function suppose I gave it uh, partition suppose I gave it one five seven three what do you expect it to return well you expect it to return one in the left side but pivot as three and five seven on the right and so this is correct does this make sense okay so we have this now writing quick sort will now be rather trivial let's get rid of this it takes in a list as an input right now you tackle the base case first base case if length length of list is less than or equal to one simply return the list as is because that's the base case otherwise you tackle the recursive case and the recursive case is simply this that you divide first left pivot right equals partition function partition function on your input list once you have that you conquer them by using quick sort again this is recursion in action sorted right is equal to quick sort on right this is done then you just return easily you take the sorted left which is a list you add pivot in the middle you make pivot a basically a list you wrap it around square bracket so that it becomes a list and can be added and you add sorted right to it and this should just work so let's test it python quick sort give it anything doesn't matter my one minus one seven minus three oh this should not be python it should be print and when I do python quick and resort the py this is sorted minus three minus one seven one seven and it works so uh, so basically today we talked about quick sort uh, one thing that I would like to mention is that even though quick sort and merge sort look very different algorithms they are they have quite a bit of similarity so one similarity for example is that these are both divide and conquer algorithms they are both recursive algorithms the key difference however between these two is that merge sort does a lot of work in the combined step its divide step is rather straightforward you take a list you divide it into two halves and that's it you combine you conquer them but during combining you do a lot of work you take one element from here one element from there compare it and keep the smaller one put the greater one back again pick two look at the smaller one put the smaller one keep the bigger one back so there is a lot of in merge sort a lot of work happens in the combined step in quick sort on the other hand a lot of work happens in in the beginning when you are dividing your list into two halves you be you become very smart about it and you choose a pivot value but you keep all the values less left than pivot in one bucket and all the values greater than the pivot in the right bucket so a lot of work happens in the beginning but as a, as a result once you are done conquering 
in the combined step is just you just add them up and you return them so in short merge sort does a lot of work merge sort is lazy does a lot of work in the end in the combined step quick sort is uh, is uh, is very agile very active it does a lot of work in the beginning in the divide step so that it has to do no work in the end in the combined step so this concludes our lecture today we basically talked about quick sort we talked about its history and we implemented it in python and we also talked about how it is similar yet different than merge sort quick sort is a very efficient algorithm it runs in uh, if the um, number of elements are n that you have to sort it takes order n log n the runtime is proportional to n times log n uh, which is much better than insertion sort which was n square uh, so basically now we have discussed three algorithms in detail insertion sort merge sort and today we talked about quick sort in the next lecture we will conclude sorting in that lecture what we will do is that we will generate a very big data set about 50,000 to 100,000 numbers and we will run all these sort algor sorting algorithms and see which one is fastest which one is slowest the lecture notes for that lecture are already up so you can go ahead and look it up thank you for watching